Taking action, which stands in solidarity with the struggle for black liberation. We recognize that our history of resistance to British imperialism in the subcontinent and our fight right here against Islamophobia in the U.S. are intrinsically linked with the history of black resistance. We recognize that pressure from the civil rights movement made the Immigration and Nationality Act of 1965 possible, ending the immigration laws that kept South Asians largely out of the United States. As we continue to organize against caste-based violence in our communities, we are inspired by the work of the Black Panther Party and Dalit Panther, the Dalit Liberation Movement founded in 1972. In, in India, we saw Prime Minister Modi rise to power on a fascist, violent ideology. Our Dalit Muslim and Sikh brothers and sisters resist him there. There is a new storm on the horizon and the prospect of a Trump presidency terrifies me. But I do not feel alone, and I am grateful to all of you for showing me what resistance and solidarity looks like. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. Real quick, real quick. We out here to fight fascism. Trump's picking racists. Trump, Trump, the one black guy that he picked is a doctor, and he picked him to give a civil engineer job. Would you pick a civil engineer to be a brain surgeon? Hell no! Nah. <laughs> Sessions admitted homophobe. The other guy, the national advisor, admitted racist. You have this fascist, racist, homophobic regime that is coming to power. That is why all, all oppressed people, black, poor, trans, queer, all oppressed people must stand together. That's why we're here. So real quick, we're pretty much done with the speakers, and I'm not going to give no long speech. We're going to have uh, Ross Ceylon come out here with his beautiful wife, Aaliyah. They're going to do a song. The Silent Noise is going to do some a little bit of music, and we're going to finish it off with Kev Choice and Jennifer Johns, and it's music time. Let's boogie. Woo!